All right, in this video I'm going to uh, show you how to count up to find change from five pounds and ten pounds. As you can see, I've got two um, example questions here. Five pounds, subtract two pounds, thirty-five. And the other example is five pounds, subtract three pounds, seventy-five. Okay, so uh, we've got our number line here, and you need to remember that when you're doing this method, uh, at this end of the number line, all right, you always start with the smaller number. Okay, so we're going to write two pound thirty five. Okay, and at the other end, we write five pounds. Okay, and now we just um, use what you might call uh, frog jumps. Okay, and we can just uh, add. Uh, it in sets of uh, five pens or ten pens, however uh, you feel comfortable at the time. Okay, so uh, if I want to just uh, start off with something simple, I can add five pence. Okay, so uh, I add five uh, p. All right, and that takes me to two pound forty. All right, now let's say that I'm pretty comfortable with math, and I know that uh, if I add 60p to this, it'll take me to 3 pounds. So add 60p. Okay, that'll take me to 3 pounds. I should have my pound symbols in there. It's all right. Okay, so now I'm at three pounds, and it's pretty easy to work out that I to go from three pounds to five pounds. I just need to add two pounds, so I can go big jump like that, and I just add two pounds, and that takes me from three to five pounds. Okay, and that's basically how you do it. All right, so uh, let's try again with um, five pounds to three pounds seventy-five. Okay, so we're at three pounds seventy-five at this end. Remember, we always start with the smaller number over at this end, and we have the five pounds over at this end. Okay, so uh, I'm looking at three pounds seventy-five, and I know that if I add twenty-five pence to this, it'll take me to four pounds. Okay, but let's suppose I didn't know that. Uh, what I could do is I could add five pence. Okay, and Add five pence. Okay, that takes me to three pound eighty. Okay, and I could probably work out that if I add twenty pence to this, it would take me to four pounds plus twenty pence takes me to four pounds. Okay. And obviously, four pounds to five pounds, well, that would be a jump of one pound. Okay. And so, as you should know by now, because we've done frog jumps so often uh, in class, we basically just add up these, uh, these amounts here. So we've got uh, one pound plus 20p plus 5p would equal 1 pound, 25p, okay, or 1 pound 25. All right, so uh, let's uh, go on to the 10 pounds and uh, we'll see how that works. Okay, so as you can see, I've started working on this question here, and it's 10 pounds subtract 4 pound 80. All right, so again, we have to take 4 pound 80. We have to start it over on our number line here. All right, and, and now we're trying to get the change from 10 pounds. So 10 pounds is our new number over at this end. All right, and so we're going to have probably more uh, jumps because we're not going to probably be able to do it in... in uh, just one or two uh, hops. Okay, so 
Uh, we look at this number very carefully. It's always important to look carefully at this number and try and work out what's an easy way of getting from here to there. All right. So I know that 80 pence is very close to a pound, and we have to remember that one pound is the same thing as 100 pence. Okay, well we've got 80 pence here, so what would we have to add to 80 to get to 100? Well, that would only be 20 pence. So we can add 20p here. All right. And that would take us to 5 pounds, right? Because 80 pence plus 20 pence gives us another pound, which makes it 5 pounds, okay? So we've got 5 pounds here, and wow, look at that. I can make a one huge jump because I can just add on another 5 pounds, okay? So our answer is going to be 5 pounds plus 20p is going to be 5 pounds 20p. Okay. This is basically the same way of doing it as I did it here. The only difference is that uh, I left the p's in there. Um, but you can write it as a decimal number, whichever is easier for you. Okay, so let's do the next question. Okay, so we're now working on this question, 10 pounds subtract 6 pound 85. All right, and again, we look very carefully at this. Right, in the previous question, we had 80 pence here, and we said that if we add 20, that would take us to 5 pounds. Well, this is 85 pence, okay, so that means that if I added 20 for this amount here, when I had 80 pence, in this case, I, I don't have to add 20, I only have to add 15 pence. So I'm going to add 15 pence. Okay. And you should be able to work out that that is going to give me 7 pounds. Okay. And if you want to, you can make one big jump to 10 pounds. Uh, which I will do, okay, plus 3 pounds, okay, but uh, if you're not that comfortable with that, then you could just add one, jumps of 1 pound each, and just do 3 1 pound jumps, okay, same thing. So now, as I said before, we just add up this amount and this amount, so we've got 3 pounds, plus 15p. You'll notice I don't write the p here. I'm writing it as a decimal number here, so I don't need to write the p. Okay, usually um, when you're writing it as a decimal and you've already written the pound symbol, you don't also have to write the, the p. Okay, so 3 pounds 15 is our final answer. Okay, I hope that's been uh, useful to you. Good luck.